Hey yo, Tyler Aaron here, Rage Cage Sports. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about fantasy football, something that gets me fired up. I'm all about fantasy football. I cannot wait for the season to start. When them gridiron gods take the field, I am tuned in in front of my couch, feet up, ready to watch. So today I want to talk to you about fantasy football. Like I said, we're going to talk about draft strategy. We're going to talk about quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, kickers, the whole nine. I'm going to do it quick here. Quarterbacks. My big thing is, if you can't get a stud, then wait. The only people that are worth taking early are going to be Rodgers and Luck. I would rather have one of those guys than maybe a mid-round to later running back in the first round like C.J. Anderson. Why? Because, especially in keeper leagues, they're going to be around for a long time, and they're the most reliable pick. You know what you're going to get out of them, whereas C.J. Anderson, the running back position as a whole, I mean, injury-prone, injury-prone. Everybody's injury-prone, and you never know from year to year who's going to be in the top five running backs. I can make a pretty good guess that Andrew Luck or Aaron Rodgers will be in the top five. Come back and get me if I'm wrong. Running backs, I say early or late, and when I say that, I mean that we got Lacey, Peterson, Forte, Le'Veon Bell, Marshawn Lynch, C.J. Anderson, Jamal Charles, and LaShawn McCoy, my boy. If you can get one of those guys early, I'm all for it. If you can't, those mid-range backs, Melvin Gordon, rookies, you know, Carlos Hyde, I'm not feeling it this year. I'm not feeling it. I will wait around until later and try to pick up some, some guys that fall. In the drafts that I've been doing lately, I've been seeing guys like Jonathan Stewart fall. I've been seeing guys like Latavius Murray fall. You know, maybe they're not on great teams, but they're good value. They're starting running backs, and they got some big potential. Moving on from that, there's some running backs this year that are really catching a lot of people's eyes as rookies. Typically, I stay away from rookie running backs, like the plague. Not a big fan. You got Amir Abdullah, David Cobb, Todd Gurley, and Melvin Gordon this year. You know, a couple of those guys I'm a little high on. I like, you know, I like the upside with Cobb. Being a St. Louis guy, I'm obviously a Gurley fan. Uh, Melvin Gordon, you know, he's been banged up this preseason. And Amir Abdul has really turned some heads. So I would say draft those guys with caution. Just don't reach for them too much. Wide receivers, especially PPR leagues. The league is a, it's a passing league now. You can't deny it. Everybody's passing, and I don't see that changing. That's, that's the style of the game. As opposed to five years ago when we were playing fantasy football, it's completely different. Um, those guys, I think, are creeping into being first-round draft picks. You're Antonio Browns. I'm still a big fan of Calvin Johnson. I see him returning to fantasy glory this year and being a top receiver. I mean, he's not ranked that way in a lot of fantasy books now, slipping out of the top five, but he's still one of those guys. Des Bryant, Randall Cobb's value just got through the roof with the Jordy Nelson trade. Big fan of Randall Cobb. So I would say draft those guys early, but there's some value to be had there late. That Nelson Aguilar from Philadelphia, Jordan Matthews from Philadelphia, Stevie Johnson out in San Diego, watch out for him. Um, I'm expecting big things. Tight ends, it's another early and often situation. Yet Gronk, Gronk is the only one that's able to be taken in the first round this year, in my opinion. Uh, second round, third round, you might be able to reach for a guy like Jimmy Graham. The thing is, we just, I mean, as much as I want to sit here and tell you I'm a fantasy expert, no one knows what's going to happen with Jimmy Graham. I'm hoping for the best because I like the guy. He thinks he's a cool guy. He follows Instagram. He's really into flying planes upside down. Check that out. Uh, but opposed from that, you got... Travis Kelsey, Greg Olson, Jordan Cameron, and Michael Bennett. Those are going to be the next the next tier. And after that, if you can't get one of those guys, man, wait until your third to last pick of the draft, snag you a tight end, get something with some value, maybe you know a Heath Miller, something that you know what he's going to be is in a good offense with Ben Roethlisberger. But don't don't you know pick a guy like Heath Miller, you know, in the sixth or seventh round. It's just not going to do you any good. If those guys are off the board, wait. Kickers, say it every single year, last pick of the draft, or don't even draft one. If, you're, if your league allows illegal rosters, don't draft one. Pick one up the day before the first game and take a flyer on a guy that maybe he's not going to get drafted. Maybe a Reggie Bush, who knows what's going to happen to Reggie this year. Maybe he comes out and be a stud, or maybe Carlos Hyde gets injured and he has to step in and play that role. But if you don't have to take a kicker, don't even take one. Wait until the season's about to start and then drop somebody off your roster who had a terrible preseason or is not going to be a starter. Defenses. You know, I used to be a big fan of taking one of the top, you know, five defenses, but I've been burned on it from time to time. And I think that moving forward, my strategy this year has been they're different from year to year. I don't know who's going to be the top defense. I don't know who's going to be in the top five. And there'll be some crazy team that I didn't even think of slipping in there and snagging a top defense spot. So I've been waiting around on defenses. Besides, they're so matchup based. I personally would rather play matchups week to week off the waiver wire. For you fa active fantasy owners, maybe that's the best option to go. So that's my that's my take on position breakdown. If you got any questions or comments, definitely hit me up. Uh, before I get out of here, though, I want to talk to you about a little trade talk. Big fan of trading this year. I haven't done a lot of trading in the past, but this year I'm changing my philosophy. 
Uh, I had a pretty successful year in fantasy football last year, but I'm going to spice it up, have some fun this year, try to do a lot of trading. So this is a trade I've been mulling over lately with uh, an owner in one of my fantasy leagues. And I'll lay it out here for you. I got Aaron Rodgers and Latavius Murray, and I'm offering these guys for Marshawn Lynch. A little background about the trade. On my current team, I got Andrew Luck. So I had Andrew Luck and Aaron Rodgers. Crazy draft day scenario. Uh, I took best value, and I went with it. But that's who I got, so I'm trying to deal one of them, obviously. Uh, it is a keeper league, so you can keep one of these players moving forward. And all my bench as far as running backs go, well, not on my bench, but I got Eddie Lacy, Todd Gurley, Duke Johnson, and David Cobb. Now, the guy that I'm trading with, trying to get Marshawn Lynch from, he currently has Eli Manning as a starting quarterback. So the trade is going to help him because he can slot, slot Eli or Aaron Rodgers in instead of Eli Manning, have Eli Manning as a bench QB, which I do think Eli is going to have a good year this year, so... Um, with Odell Beckham and Victor Cruz, I think it could be deadly, but it's one of those things where Eli could come out and throw uh, 30 picks. Who knows? It's Eli. But Aaron Rodgers, one of those value guys, you know what you get at him. Marshawn Lynch, stud. Uh, he is getting a little bit older, but, I mean, the dude produces year in, year out. As long as he's got Skittles, he's going to keep on trucking. Um, as far as his bench up for running backs go, though, he's got Carlos Hyde, Melvin Gordon, Run DMC, and Chris Ivory. So he's got a little bit of depth, and he'd be bringing in Latavius Murray. I'll put a breakdown of the trade in the comments below. Feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think about this trade. Maybe it'll help me and the guy that are making the trade get things moving here. Maybe I'll have to look elsewhere. But thanks for watching, and stay tuned for Rage Cage. Bye!